Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more IDE that is a code blocks. So how to download and install and execute the programs in code blocks environment, right? And this code blocks is mainly used to execute the C or C++ or a Java programs. So first let us download that file and we'll install and I will show you the environment. So this is an open source software. So directly you can uh, search in the Google by typing code blocks. So the official website will be opened. See, this is the official website, codeblocks.org. And on the left side, you can just click on the downloads. So just click on the download the binary release. And there you will find the different environments. That is a Windows environment, Linux or a Mac. So go with the Windows because I am having the Windows. And here you can observe a lot of setup files. So uh, codeblocks 20.03 setup, setup non-admin, no setup and ming w setup right so these are all for the 64 bit environment and specified exe files are with 32 bit right so just go with the code blocks 20.03 ming w setup dot exe so there are two sources to download the file so force hub or source forge so go with the sourceforge.net so automatically it will be redirected to that website and you can see your download will start shortly so now the download will be started you can observe here right it may say it may take some time so meanwhile i would like to give an information about the job opportunity and update on re-level text let us see that hello friends so in the last few days you have been hearing about the re-level test and some of you have registered for the test as well and some of you may about to take the test and here uh, today i have some exciting news from for you so that is a real level has announced that all the tests have been made free of cost in order to give the candidate access to thousand plus job jobs across the top companies and here uh, i will show you the five steps to register for the real level test so the first one is just log into the relevel.com so you can just register for a free and it will ask for the mobile number you can have to submit your mobile number so that otp will be generated and you after submitting the otp the login will be successful and then you need to select one among the three job categories that is business development for your front-end development and the back-end development and select the text category and see go to the dashboard and click on the test on the left side menu so just here you need to complete all the five rounds so there will be five rounds the phase one and phase two so first you need to attempt the phase one and you have to get a 200 out of 350 in a phase one to lock the phase two so once the phase two is unlocked so automatically you have to complete the three rounds in the phase two also and totally you need to get a score of 700 out of 1000 right so if you are not satisfied with that 700 score so you can take the test again after the 30 days right so once the score is about 700 more than 700 then uh, you can just uh, complete your profile create a profile in this real level so that the profile will be given to the companies so click on the book slot so here you will be getting the available dates so select uh, the slot and you can click on the select date so that the next step is you have to submit a clear and a clean video resume to confirm the test date. So you can click on the start recording so that it will ask the permissions for the camera and the microphone for your laptop. So you can directly record the video. So explaining about yourself and your journey and just to submit to confirm the test date. And then uh, one important thing is you can complete all these rounds in a single day and you can complete the test from your home itself you need not go to the test centers right and once the score is uh, received so you have to create a profile in this re level so that the profile will be given to a lot of companies and you may get the interview call from that companies if your score is satisfied with their requirement right and uh, if anyone are not heard about this re level here are the a few things so this is uh, topmost startups and uh, unicorns like cred upgrade razor pay uh, more companies were hiring through the re-level website right so you can choose the categories there will be three categories as I have, as I have shown that is a uh, 
business development, front end development, and the back end development. Based upon your interest, you can take that thing. And a few important points is the test is free, and you can complete all the rounds in a single day, and you can take the test from the home itself. So why late? So just log into the relevel and register for the test and start your career with a hype package. So all the best. Yeah, guys. So come back to our session. So you can observe here. I have downloaded this code blocks 20.0 min w setup dot exe. So I'll move with that uh, location and let us install that one. See code block min w setup dot exe. So click on yes. So it will start installing that one. See agree the terms and conditions. Click on the next. Uh, check the location and install. So this install will be completed. And then we can use the code blocks environment to execute a different programs on different languages. So the prompt box is there. Do you want to run code blocks now? So let us let us finish this one and we can open it, right? So complete it, click on next, finish. And you can see the icon has been appeared in the desktop, or else go to the start menu. Go to the C, so code blocks. So click on this one. You can directly click this icon to launch the code blocks. So double click on this one. So it will be opened. And this is the environment. And just create a new project. And see these many categories of uh, files can be uh, written or executed in this code blocks, right? So we can execute the Arduino projects. We can execute the C or C++ by clicking on this console application. You can use the Fortran projects. So you can execute the OpenCV projects, Open uh, OpenGL projects. So like this, and then multiple projects can be executed with this environment, right? So I will go with the console application. So this console application is mainly for executing C or C++ programs. So just click on this console application, click on go. So you can, it will ask for C or C++. I will go with the C, click on the next. And here you need to give the title for the project, right? In that particular title, we are going to execute the files. So simply for better understanding, this is nothing but our file name, right? So I will give some sample dot sample dot cbp. So my project title is sample, and you can see sample dot cbp, right? And make sure that you need to create a path where you need to uh, create the file. Just set the path here. And just next click on next so everything is default so don't uh, you, you may not uh, change the options click on finish so that you can observe here the sample project is created and inside the sample project there are sources expand the sources you'll get a main.c double click on the main.c there will be a template on c so this is a template of a c program here you can remove this one and you can execute the pro programs see i will i will use this one printf welcome to code blocks demonstration right i have given some this one and here you can observe in the top there are two options one is build and another one is a run so this option build is nothing but our compilation and after compilation we need to execute so click on this build so that if there are any errors then all the errors will be displayed in this menu, okay, in this place. So you can see, see, zero errors, zero warnings, zero minutes, zero seconds. And now, if you click on this run, the console will be opened and the program will be executed here. The output will be displayed here. You can see, hello world, welcome to code blocks demonstration and the process returns zero. Execution time is some three seconds. It took some three days, three seconds. And press any two key continue. So if you want to go back to the editor and if you want to change, make any changes, just click on any key so that it will be hitting. See, if I am forget to give the semicolon and if I compile this one, you can observe there is a red mark. So red mark means nothing but an error. You can see here, error expected semicolon before return. So in this place, we got an error. So this is an interactive environment. So by, by using these colors, uh, we can easily identify the errors and we can easily debug the errors. So if you are using some uh, Turbo C, so we can't identify the errors in such a way, 
right so here we are getting the line number as well as the color color difference color coding will be given for each and every uh, instru instruction right so by seeing the colors we can easily identify the errors and we can debug the errors right so just again the compile and again run so that this uh, program will be executed right so this is how we can execute the c programs and if you want to execute some c++ again go to the file and go with the new project so go to the console application click on go select the c++ and give the name sample2 and click on the next and finish so that you can observe here the second uh, project has been given here and expand sources you will get a main.cpp so this is the environment of c++, c++. so you can observe this is the environment of c and this is the environment of c++ right and here you can have the different programs open multiple programs open by selecting the tab the program will be displayed here so this is a cpp and this is a c program okay so hope you understood and if you go with the new project and go with the java application so give the title sample 3 next finish and again the third project is given and expand the source main.java so this is a format template for the java programs so here you can execute the java programs so the single environment we can execute a multiple languages so we can execute c programs c++ programs java programs arduino projects open cv projects etc etc right so this is a very useful application code blocks so you can directly this is a open source you can direct, directly download from the official website just now i have shown you so you can uh, use this for uh, multiple languages executing the programs for multiple languages right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding the download or installation or executing the programs feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much